Awesome. Alright, I'm going to take my bike. If it's gonna be my bike or my car. My car, okay, fine, that's fine. I don't mind my car. Just give me some music while I drive, please. Okay. Why am I still here? Okay, remove that. Thank you. Jesus Christ, dude. What the fuck? How the fuck? Wait, what the fuck? Okay, what the hell was that? <laughs> Perfect driving 101, huh? The car is way too slippery, dude. Way too slippery. What the fuck? Which way? This one? Yeah, this is Judy's apartment, right? What can I park my car though? Right here. There we go. Not perfect, but it is what it is. Wait till the evening. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? I find. <sighs> Why is it that with her missions it's always like, wait till the morning, wait till the evening? Does she work? Oh, yeah, she does work at Lizzie's. <clears throat> I think. Hey, V. Come on in. The fuck? Pizza's getting cold. Tom. Wait, I remember you. You're the guy from We're Clouds. We're in the kitchen. And who the fuck is this? You made it. Good. Hey. Have a seat. This is Roxanne. She's worked at Clouds longer than any of us. Hello. Can I fucking eat the pizza? Hey, nice to meet you. When I heard what you pulled at Clouds, shit, I so regretted I was off that day. Just eat the free pizza and then we're out of here, okay? What's your problem, Johnny? Were you and Evelyn close? Yeah. Blew up in her face when she showed up back at Clouds. She was supposed to be long gone, the one who got away. Mm. But deep in my heart, I was glad to see her back. Mm. <clears throat> I feel like such a gonk now. How are you? Okay, I guess, but... You know, sad as hell. What the fuck? I couldn't continue talking. This bitch just showed up. You'll never get rid of the stench of the corpse. Oh, you drop here a lot of them, again. don't you? What's your secret? Subtlety comes naturally to you, doesn't it? Yeah, odd. Given how much work I gotta put into it. Done saying hello to each other? I guess. Revolution won't plan itself. I modified the behavioral chip. It can equip any doll with a motor reflex system. In other words, make the doll move and fight like a preem tier solo. Fascinating, isn't it? What one can learn while tuning fake orgasms for the moxes. Mind stepping outside? Can't smoke in here. You'll air it out later. Fine, I'll sit by the window. The body will react as if executing a well-trained series of movements. Already tested it out on Tom. 
Chip's impulse is to plant any natural reflexes, so it'll make users feel like they're experiencing cyberpsychosis. But it's good, basically no? the same as when we activate ourselves for a client. Tech that's all pros and no cons. I don't buy it. Side effects, spill them. Combat mode auto-initiates when a threat is present, and uh, there's no way to stop it. That's not Can't very find good. a workaround. And that's it. I don't know. Only way to determine that would be through months of testing on a range of subjects. There's an ethical side too. You can murder someone and not remember a thing. Okay. Solo skills don't lie in just executing <clears throat> movements. There are split-second processes that happen. Logistics, decision-making, result of years of practice. <sighs> Doubt your chip's capable of compensating for that. You're probably right. But I don't see another way. Alternatives intensive training, but we don't have time for that. True. How did you ever come up with this? Learned how the behavioral chip works at Clouds. Always seemed like they must be pretty easy to modify. I'm surprised I didn't get the idea the moment we walked into Maiko's office. Count yourself lucky. What with all the cams and mics and clouds? Tiger Claws would sooner dig those chips out of the dolls with screwdrivers than let an idea like this run its course. Your purse is floating, by the way. Alright. Gotta see it to believe it. Finally. Someone said it. Tom? Yeah, you. Pulled that sequence from a kung fu training virtue. The fuck? Hey, 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 chill, bro. I'm sitting right here. Oh, shit. Gotta admit, not bad. Yeah, for the market square in Kabuki. Uh, before we start talking serious biz, gonna need to see serious action. You just saw him. I saw a bar trick. I want to see a fight. Got an expert in causing bodily harm among us. I want to see how Tommy handles her. Oh shit, you mean me. Oh god, Just don't mess fight. up my digs, okay? I like it here. It's on now! Whoa! What the? The fuck? Ah. You didn't even too? give me you a okay? chance. The fuck? <laughs> Look at me go! You see that? It's like you predicted my moves, huh? Woo. Nice work, I had to do some cardio! I did yourself. If you were to sell that, be the richest Judy in the NUSA. Please. Plenty of killing machines in the world. I don't want to turn more people into them. My After views this, are focus. chips are getting micro nuked. <sighs> happy now? I'm rarely happy, but that was proof enough. Let's get to it then. You've got an elite force of three muscle heads and a techie. What now? Guards and tiger claws in and around will overpower. Take down, disarm, escort them out. Clouds will be ours. Really? Bosses will give an ultimatum. A cut of the proceeds in exchange for never showing their faces at the club again. And having no say in how the club's managed. That's what I thought. A half-baked insane plan. You can't see more than an inch ahead of you. Taking out the security there won't solve anything. Claws will just send more. Hiromi Sato is the man you gotta get to. Hiromi Sato? Who's that? Cloud's real boss. He rarely shows, but you can't so much as sneeze without him finding out. Claws trust him, respect his opinion. He is one of them. We can try to convince him, but it's doubtful. We stand a better chance by injecting him with a dose of fear. Got it. Where do we find this Hiromi? At his apartment, H8 Mega Tower, topmost floor. It's a penthouse. Almost never steps outside its glass walls. Hmm. But I'll figure out a way to get us inside. Tom and Roxanne gonna come with? No. Whole points to strike both places at the same time. They'll take care of business at Clouds. Two okay. pronged assault. Loving it. <coughs> All right. Wouldn't it be better to ambush him on the street like 
Well, he's chomping on a scop dog or taking a piss in a back alley. Why hmm. even try breaking into a penthouse? Probably crawling with guards. He told me don't go anywhere without security. So one, makes no difference. Two, this is only a show of force demonstrating what we are capable of. All Which right. is a lot more than street thuggery. So how about it, V, Tom, Roxy? Made up your minds? I... I need to think about it. Never wasted anyone before, you know? Mm. I'm with it all the way. V? Don't tell me you're seriously considering this. Sticking our precious necks out for a bunch of whores? Sure. Count me in, Judy. Already said I'd help, didn't I? Thanks, V. Save the gratitude for later, please. <coughs> I'll set up Shit. to meet with Hiromi and let you know. I need a couple days. Have fun. Toodaloo. Johnny, Michael, just up. because I disagreed with you doesn't mean that you have to attack Only me. Only if you don't talk to me. I feel a migraine <clears throat> coming on. He's not happy. Oh, shit. I'm scared, V. Speaking of gratitude, stuff I'm asking you to do, well, usually comes with a price tag, I know. The fuck? You want to help, I get that. But I'm more than happy to pay your fee in full. Why? Feels like it's only right. Judy! For real? No. Don't want to hear it. But uh, 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 not a word. Jesus, Johnny. Uh, v, everything okay? No, not really. Johnny is being a bitch again. V, you don't look so hot. <sighs> okay. Okay, I'm better. Fine. What the hell, V? You, like, sick? Sort of. Remember the heist Evelyn hired us for? The relic I was gonna club? <sighs> Couldn't forget that in a million years. That yeah. biochip? Well, long story short, it had Johnny Silverhand's mind on it. An engram of it that's overriding my mind. You being serious? Truly wish I wasn't. Fuck. Anything at all you can do? No. One can hope. I mean, sort of. I contacted all. It's alt. late. You're tired. You can crash on my couch if you want. Sounds great. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Make yourself at home. Judy can be nice when she wants to. Must be morning right now, right? Morning, sleepyhead. Had to run, didn't want to wake you. Left some breakfast, eat up. What? No. Interesting. This place looks like a fucking antique museum. I guess you should feel right at home. <laughs> Chick's got taste. Except for one thing. And what's what? that? Way she looks at you. Don't pretend you haven't noticed. What are you Makes point, you Johnny? all mushy inside. I can feel it. The fuck? Know she dabbled in robotics. No, that's fucking Shimra. Think that's how she winds down? After a day's work of tuning hardcore smut? Wouldn't be surprised. Tech thingy notes. I forgot to change the notifications in the pressure cars. Add an automatic reset when starting it up. Tracking module froze underwater again. Probably the waterproof case is blocking the signal fix. Make an opening for an antenna. Connection lost with the barometer when set up when set at bathic me bathy me metric mode fix. Add an automatic signal to switch back to last position before connection loss. Yeah, she Judy's pretty smart, man. There might be some more shit here to investigate. 
Oh, well, well. The Bushido Collection in BD format. First three are collector's items nowadays. Anything here? Please forgive me. Ugh, oh, Evie. I can't believe you're not here anymore. I regret everything I did and everything I didn't do. Why did you, we did? Why did I help you with the brain dance? Why did I let this gong heist happen? Why didn't I see what you were up to until it was too late? Why didn't I protect you? I let you down, and I ha I'll have to live with that for the rest of my life. There's two new messages here. Need advice. Judy Alvarez to Lucy Thackeray. I need a f I have a friend with a dull chip that was damaged by a Netrunner. Since the attack, she's been catatonic. The chip was fixed and functions normally, but her condition hasn't improved. I'll pay for expert advice. Here's what I do. Uninstall that chip. Just make sure you do it with the proper anesthesia and that she's closely monitored. In any case, you can just bring her to me. How about a house call? I'd rather not move her. She's been through every kind of hell you could imagine. I'll pay extra. Okay, I have a free slot tomorrow. And? Still nothing? Judy Alvarez to Michael Maera. Yeah, I've chilled. And I finally realized why you needed uh, to make your little power move and make me out to look like a psycho bitch. It wasn't easy to come to terms with, but since you already planted your flag, can we talk about what we do next? Despite what you said about Evelyn, I haven't seen something get under your skin like that in a while. Judy, stop pushing my buttons. Now all of a sudden you know when when I do or don't give a damn about something. I stopped spilling ever since you decided to fix clouds. As always, you've got a plan to save the world, but you expect me to do it. If you want to do something about it, then by all means. But don't wait for anyone else. Get in touch once you've got some specifics. One merc isn't enough. I have specifics. My place tonight. I'll be there. One condition. You'll keep your distance when things go down. That's what mercs are for. I think it's time you understand. You understood that you're not going to decide for me anymore. This is my plan and I'm going to do it my way. You can either help me or you can keep telling me how naive I am for wanting to shake up the system. How everything needs time and pragma pragmatism. But you know what? My patience for that bullshit is gone. Why do you even want me to keep my distance? Maybe I don't want something to happen to you. Or maybe I think you're unstable and that you'll fuck everything up. Your pick. You always seem to know my own reasons better than me. Why keep pretending? Jesus. <coughs> Trouble in paradise. <coughs> Jefferson. Hello, v. Hey. Jefferson? Listen, I need your help again. Matters private. Sure, sure man. Okay. What's it about? Not on the hollow. Come by. I'll lay it out. Explain everything. Got your back, Jefferson, not to worry. Great. We'll see you here then. Remember where? Of course. Be there in no time. I'll drink and eat the breakfast Judy made for me. And... The cold pizza. Where is the cold pizza? Where is that tuna? Locust and pepperoni pizza. Here we go. There you go, ate it. It's cold, but I like cold pizza. Just, I don't know about the locust thing, though. News reports. 17th of July, 2062. What is this? Uh, is this important for me to... A fatal accident occurred on Friday in Laguna Bend, a town located in the area surrounding Night City. Residents refused to vacate their homes, properties which have been officially declared a construction zone by a corporation which had purchased the land despite not all homes have been ev ha having been evacuated. Construction workers were ordered to begin their work to prevent further financial losses due to delays. One resident climbed a crane in order to stall construction. The crane operator responded by lobbing objects found in his control room and the man, the operator, subs subsequently lost control of the suspended load, which collided into a home and killed the family who were still inside. The conflict between NC Dam L uh, Limited and the residents is not new, but until now has not led to any casualties. 
The dispute began a few months ago when rent prices in Laguna Band rose drastically, after which residents were informed that the land on which their houses stood was to become a reservoir. Some of the residents relocated to temporary housing that was built as compensation. However, those who ignored the municipal directives and state put became the victims of a corporate smear campaign, which identified them as agents of public unrest, APUs, who were preventing necessary construction in order to secure access to clean water for all of Night City. As a result, public opinion quickly turned against residents of Laguna Bend, and few, if any, paid attention to the change in police statics to an open violence against the residents. One could say it was only a matter of time before incidents like this, like the one on Friday, would occur. Jesus. Who would have thought? Perilous future. Electropunk? I'd rather puke out my ears. Someone likes getting their feet wet. Don't need to be an expert to tell the gears pro. Deep sea diving equipment, frequent use, professional diving equipment that shows sign of use. She likes diving, cool. Alright, I think we're done then. Uh, is there something else here? Eat breakfast. I already did. I ate breakfast. What the fuck? I ate breakfast. What the fuck? Alright. I literally ate it. I didn't just grab it and put it in my pocket. 